Good morning, New Brunswick. Cold. Not too bad, actually. It got below freezing. But we're going to do a little bit of technical stuff today, I believe. And then uh, I think Virgil and Nick are going to plant us by Creekside tonight, and then they're actually going to head home. They've really outdone themselves, you know, kind of touring us around here in New Brunswick. And uh, we couldn't have done it without them. Very thankful for that. They're awesome guys and hope to adventure with them soon. It's all bright lights and gasoline, truck stops and coffee beans. I believe in what I do, and that's the truth. I'll run my race until my work is through, like a traveling man will do. I'll run my race until my work Traveling man will do. Oh yeah, what do you call this? Um, call this um, artery destroyer. It's like bacon on pig on butter. Good stuff. Oh, it wasn't too bad. I have a good sleeping bag, and uh, we had the buddy heater going for a little bit, but overall can manage to like minus 15 celsius with that sleeping bag pretty comfortably i want to like hang out in the town too you know since we're all the way even up here like uh um, well, what's like the cool coastal town bathurst as we said. yeah bathurst is the it has a really nice stretch of beautiful houses and uh you can drive right down near the beach um we haven't spent very much time in bathurst so i wonder if any of those are gonna be open though because that that campground that we got the wood at was closed. Yeah. That's the issue, right? We're yeah, getting, there's a good chance season. that any of those campgrounds are just seasonal. Okay. If we're drinking at the right bar that night, they can say, you should just go camp over here, you know? like. Yeah. I would kind of like that to happen tonight, you know? So Bathurst is right there, Yeah, right? Bathurst is up in the corner there. What's up in here? That's Edmonston. So this is Quebec border, so Edmonston is right there. So that's about one of the last bigger towns. Uh -huh. Uh, in between here, there's not very much. This Mount Carlton National Park mm -hmm. and the Christmas Mountains, they're all named after reindeers and, and stuff. So, mm -hmm. I, I, I like the idea of hitting a coastal town. Yeah, I think that would be cool. Yeah. What, what do you think? think? I'm I'm along for the ride, man. I, I do here. I do want to go into a town and like get some drinks and dinner and just hang out and Fuck film it, inside the town. So th so the other option too is that like we go like let's let's do this trail and then go up to Bathurst. <laughs> yep and get there early enough where we're like, oh man, there's, nothing there's there. really nothing here. And then we just get on the road and just air up and go down to St. Andrews, Andrews as a backup plan. I want to go as far north as possible on this trip to is. say that I did. Okay. <laughs> Do you know French? Um, peu. Speak yeah. Arabic. I don't think that's going to help. I'm not sure that was signal was All right, sounds like what we're going to do here this morning. We actually woke up at a reasonable time. We're packed up. We're going to drive over the back side of Bald Mountain where we were at yesterday. Um, and then I believe the Northbound Expedition guys might be heading back home. And then we're going to go up to Bathurst and explore that town a little bit because part of what we do when we overland is experience the cultures and the community. And we haven't really had a chance to do that yet. And it's the last day. So we thought, let's do it, right? So we're going to go up there and check it out and uh, see what there is to see. And if we get skunked, we're heading south to St. Andrews and gonna repeat the uh, celebration down there. Virgil, we are in the woods here in some different kind of terrain. Where are we heading to now? Yeah, so uh, we were on Big Bald Mountain yesterday. We, shook, we took the uh, short route up. So th today we uh, looped around and we're going up uh, the, um, the back side of it on the west end. It's a much longer trail. It's scenic. It changes in landscape as you can see. And then we're going to have some uh, water 
um, maybe a beaver pond or two. Yeah, our last day here, this will be pretty fun. And then, uh, and then we'll be moving out to Bathurst and check that little community out. She looked at me with bloodshot eyes and said, I don't think I've ever seen you cry, but it's way too late. Is that oh, fun, Cooper? Yeah, yeah. Nice and cold. I like swimming in the cold. Weirdest Uber ever. I'm going to pick up Ben. There's nothing. So we're going through some trails now. I know what I did, but you're welcome. It's getting a little weird with Ben. He keeps giving me presents from the woods that get stuck on the car, for example. Here's one right here. I'm starting to get a little bit weirded out, uh, so I kicked him out of the vehicle. I'm going to keep this on my head, and uh, hopefully it doesn't get any weirder. He just stayed right the whole time. Uh -huh. Yeah, he, he cut across the here. whole right shoulder, yeah. I mean, except for that one. Actually, he looks like he's like right here. He went to uh, the second one. Oh, the first hold up, I got him through so he could kind of. Because the first one there is a bit tippy. Uh, so I got to the one wash it at the rest, he hopped the right shoulder. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking it might be good to just stay far left and then at that. Yeah, that cross one spot crossover. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Open driver on. Yeah, keep coming, you're gonna drop on the passenger, keep coming, slowly.
Not sure what I'm doing, but it's helping my crusty asshole. <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes in New Brunswick, oh, we're being told to stop. What do you think, Gabby? Uh, we're gonna scratch some parts. Maybe leave some parts behind here. <laughs> yeah. So what are you making? This looks pretty heavy duty for lunch. I drove my vehicle well, uh, to the top of the mountain and I'm now I'm having a steak. steak. What else is there to do? Just the steak. No vegetables on the side. Yeah. Okay, sit. Sit. Oh my god. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Cooper's like, oh my god. I'm gonna hold it, otherwise you're gonna swallow this in one big gulp. I'm gonna force you to chew this. She's biting it off. She's getting there. And it's gone. Holy <laughs> crap! I've never seen a snake. <laughs> <Look, we're> like, <laughs> this is just steak in a sandwich. Nothing else. Mm. 
see you're being a little more civilized with your steak here. Try to be. Try Bathurst out, see what's up there, and then we'll. It sounds like more likely this is going to happen down here. Back up. Yeah, it's a great spot. Yeah, yeah. we'll come back down in a few hours. And you can have a shower. Ah. Bath. Yeah. Yeah, you're up for bathe it. in the river. Well, we could bathe in the river and then yeah. do the drive. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm going to hop in the river, no question about it. Yeah, I will too. Um, I'm very glad that you guys chose us to be your guides for this expedition, and uh, we had a great time doing it. I feel very. Uh, Honored to have you guys. I've been a fan for of the show for years. I've been watching you guys and following you along. So uh, when you actually reached out to me or replied to my comment on YouTube that you guys want to come up, um, I'm very pleased about that. Yeah, so getting to meet all the guys from Mountain State Overland and uh, ride with them has been probably one of the highlights of my uh, overlanding experience for the last <laughs> three years. And uh, I hope we get to ride with you again, either on our side of the border or yours. Um, Virgil and Nick are actually going to split from the team and so am I today. Um, unfortunately, uh, as much as I don't want to, I uh, kind of have to because we are 22 hours away from Roanoke and if I put another hour, that's another hour I have to cover in one day. The guys are going to go up, they're going to party uh, up north a little bit, they're going to keep driving about an hour north, but I'm going to start heading south and go through Holden and uh, across the border and start making my way down to Virginia. Yeah, I mean, we're going to see you again soon. Oh, I'm sure you will. <laughs> so what are you going to get? Fish and chips. Either that or a lot. Ooh, lot what do you think? Beer. Wow. <laughs> oh, 
Um, and it's not like a, this big American mess of food. It's like tastefully dressed with the right amount of cheese and barbecue sauce. Last, last night in Canada, we're gonna have my favorite Canadian beer. What do you got? All right, so I got, this is from a company called Unibrew, which I totally. Oh, it's not Unibrow? <laughs> Unibrow, whatever. My two favorite, La Fin du Monde, which means the end of the world, and Madit, which means uh, the damned. And this is actually, I've been to the brewery and there's a story behind this. So way back in there, it's kind of hard to see. This old Montreal, uh -huh. there's a the devil, and these are loggers. And they, there's this like, you know, 500 year old, uh, you know, beer festival that's in Montreal. And basically the loggers couldn't get all their work done in time to get to the beer festival. So they sold their soul to the devil and he um, gave them a flying canoe to get to the beer festival. And every time you get drunk on this stuff, you say you're flying the canoe. That's cool. <laughs> What's the other one about? What's the other one about? It just means, the yeah, Le Fin du Monde just means the end of the world. Let's see that one. So it just shows the... Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, that's it. Cool. Sweet, you got a Bud Light? Yeah, oh yeah, totally. I got the, I think I have a Canadian Bud, oh no, I don't have a Canadian well, Bud. Oh, fine, dude. That's cool. What are, you, are you gonna have this or are you gonna have a goose? I think I'll have a goose. Okay. Uh, we're in uh, Bathurst, New Brunswick. Where we are right now, I mean, this sunrise is pretty epic. Uh, granted, it's not really uh, an off-grid campsite, so to speak, but uh, you know what? It, it still looks pretty sweet, and we're, we're pretty far up there in New Brunswick, so I'm pretty happy about where we're at. I put my vote in for this, which was let's get as far north as we possibly can. Um, just to say that we could that, that we did it and uh, got to see a sunrise in our faces and that was uh, definitely worth it. Five years ago when I had this vision of Mountain State Overland, I envisioned us traveling the entire range of the Appalachian Mountains over three to five years and we did it. I don't know if I've ever been that remote with a vehicle before, um, which was really, really cool. At one point I I looked down and we were like 30 something miles away um, from the you know from the town we left so it was pretty epic and then to finish it off this is just a campground up north and uh, that we just kind of last minute pulled into had an amazing sunrise this morning and now we're headed back to see the family you know mountain state's not going to stop uh, we're going to keep going and we're going to keep trucking i don't know where we're going to be next year but it's going to be somewhere super awesome and uh, the hospitality here in Canada has just been amazing since we crossed the border it's just been non-stop and uh, just been an amazing week and a half. <laughs>